Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today I have the Colossal Katana Boy 1000 saw. This saw, unfortunately, is not yet for sale. Right now this is, I suppose you could call it a prototype, but it's what it's gonna be if it gets sold. And you know, when I first took on this project to review this saw, I was thinking to myself, you know, this is a cool novelty item to share with my viewers. You know, the Katana Boy 650, I thought that was the extent of what would be practical in terms of the size of a saw. I didn't think you could make a saw that much bigger, a handheld saw, and still have practical functionality. Boy, was I wrong. This thing devours the forest. It's a good thing that I have one of the few in existence because if these existed in vast numbers, I'm afraid that what remains of our great forest would be deforested rather quickly. Now, for falling trees, I was a little skeptical about this because it takes a little bit of getting used to. It's going to bind up on you a little bit at first. Once you get the hang of it, once you get a feel for the saw and how it handles, that doesn't really happen anymore. One of the biggest things that might happen when you're sawing a very large tree is that because the saw is so large, it can actually bend a bit. And what I found what might, would happen sometimes is that when I'm sawing, it would almost be a curved cut. And that can cause binding, it can cause problems. So you have to make sure that you're cutting it straight. And that just takes uh, some swift cuts at the start to make sure you set that cut so it's not rounding. This is one meter long, one meter. If you're cutting trees that are half a foot, this thing just devours it within seconds. Now, one of the complications in using a saw this large on smaller trees is it's going to completely be pulling and shaking the tree. For instance, if there was a six inch large log on the ground and I wanted to saw that log. This saw is so big, the teeth are so aggressive that it's going to pull it and jog it. It's not going to be practical to cut that. You're going to want to use the Big Boy 2000. Possibly the Katana Boy 500 is not as aggressive. Of course, the Katana Boy 500 is half the size of this. This is really good for the first cut, basically taking a tree down at the stump. Now it also works very well if you have something to mount the log on. And so this is probably going to be something you'd want around the homestead. This is probably the ultimate homesteading saw. Silky saws are built to last without ever having to be sharpened. Unlike your buck saw that you're probably gonna have to sharpen it every three large logs that you cut. Now you can see that the teeth start small here and they get large towards the end. This is a really, really good design because when you're first digging into that tree in the shallow part, it's easy to make contact at the start, but as you pull further away, and of course, as you build up momentum, these larger teeth are able to harness that momentum and tear even deeper into what you cut initially, and of course, at the tail end of the cut. Just an incredible powerhouse of a saw. So for anybody who doesn't know, silky saws are pull saws, meaning that they're designed only to cut and dig into that wood on the pull stroke. So you can see it from another angle here. You're pulling those larger teeth, dig deeper in at the end of the movement. It's important to try to use the full length of the saw whenever possible. And you can see how it excavates all that sawdust on the push stroke. So it's a very, very well thought out design. Now Silky advises that you don't put downward force on the saw. All you have to do is pull it. This is gonna save you energy and it's going to minimize the chance of you breaking the saw. Mind you, I've never broken a Silky saw. A little bit of downward force is not necessarily going to ruin it, but something you should consider. Another thing that you don't see me using here is a wedge. I'm choosing the saw without a wedge just to show you the capabilities of the Silky saw. Now this tooth end here, you can't really see it on the camera there, but this is actually thicker than the rear end, than this right here. That's gonna make it so that there's less binding. Now silky saws are made of Japanese SK4 steel. Now the saw teeth are impulse hardened, but the rest of the saw isn't. That allows for great flexibility in the saw, 
Mind you, the teeth are exceptionally hard. Impulse hardening is a process by which you're heating and cooling the saw rapidly within fractions of a second, and this allows you to achieve an incredibly hard steel, which is almost impossible to sharpen thereafter. But that's a great thing because that means that the saw is not gonna dull nearly as fast as other saws. And when I say nearly as fast, I've had a silky big boy 2000 with the same kind of chrome finish and everything. And that thing, I've had it for about six years. I've probably cut a thousand logs with it and it still goes through trees like butter. It's still razor sharp. If you were to run your fingers along it, you, you would slice your hand up severely. So this steel is no joke. We're talking Japan drawing on its history of making the katanas, the samurai swords, and implementing that technology into their saws. And this is what you get, the Katana Boy 1000. Each of these teeth at the end here are almost three quarters of an inch long. It's like the Tyrannosaurus Rex of saws. It's unbelievable. And the handle is premium, rubberized. It's just an awesome handle. It's so ergonomic. Silky uses the same hinge design for all their saws. And I think just because this one is so heavily weighted, they might want to add a little bit more to this part to reinforce it. But other than that, I mean, I haven't had a problem. Obviously, I've bound this thing up when I was first getting used to it several times. Didn't have any breakage, warpage, anything like that. Just a really, really powerful saw. And now to close the saw, there's some safety mechanisms. Because if you close this on your hand, kiss your hand goodbye. So when you're closing the saw, there's a locking feature right there to protect your hand. If you screw it a little bit more out, press the button down. Close it all the way. Line it all up. And just screw that down there and then it can't open on you. Now they sent me a sheath. I don't think they actually have a designated sheath made for this yet, but it's probably gonna resemble the Katana Boy 650. So the sheath that they gave me is for some kind of pool saw. So it wasn't actually the, the sheath that was form fitted to this, but a massive saw, certainly nothing you would put in a bug out bag. Maybe if you're talking about an inch bag and you had a horse and wagon or you had a mono walker or you had some sort of system this thing is freaking awesome for cutting very, very large trees at the stump or cutting on some sort of lumber sawhorse where the tree can be held in position and you don't have to worry about all that jarring and shaking of the tree. This would be great for the person who lives on a homestead, a person who lives in a forested region who regularly cuts firewood, especially in the case of grid down where you're not gonna have gasoline to power a chainsaw. This thing is going to pay for itself many times over uh, in terms of the energy that you're gonna save. There is absolutely no saw on earth right now which is more powerful than this saw. For a one-man saw, this is the most powerful, sharpest saw that you, you'll find. And the Catan Boy 650 is pretty much right behind it in terms of that. Now, if you guys think that this is a great idea and if people are expressing a lot of interest, maybe that will compel Silky to make this available to the masses. So you can show your support for this saw by liking this video, leaving a constructive comment below, and uh, subscribing to the channel. Now, if you want to get any other Silky saw, you can go and check out Cheryl Tree if you're in the United States, or Big Bear Tools if you're in Canada. They're the exclusive Canadian distributor of Silky Saws. Excellent company. I know the owner personally. Great customer service. So go and check it out. Thanks for watching.